how I wasted a ton of money on a procrastination coach and what I should have done instead. Hi, my name is Julie, and I'm here to tell you my little story about all the money I wasted on a procrastination coach. So um, procrastination was without a doubt the biggest problem that I had pretty much my whole life, let's say. <laughs> um, it started when I was in grade school. As soon as I got homework, I just had trouble sitting down and doing the homework. I would leave it until the last minute until I was exhausted and there was nothing else to do but the homework. Um, I would often pass out on my books. My parents really loved that. Um, and I would wake up late to school. I would have trouble getting out of bed because I was exhausted because I just couldn't do the things I wanted and needed to do. And to the outside observer, it looked like I was lazy or I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do my homework. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't sit down. Um, this continued into my adult life and in work, I just couldn't sit and do the work I wanted to do. I had the lists and the lists of the lists and the list, and I just couldn't do it. The worst instance of this was one day I had a office slash photo studio. I was working as a portrait photographer and I got to the office bright and early, managed to do that. And then I decided to sit in the chair outside of my office and just look at my phone real quick before going in. I don't know why. Um, and so I started doing that and then the time just started passing and passing and passing and passing and passing. It was, I don't know, I think I got there around 8 a.m. It was 9 a.m., 10, 11, 12. Then I was all of a sudden starving and I was like, okay, let's go get some, some lunch. I still hadn't gone into the office. <sighs> it makes me laugh now, but at the time I just felt awful. I mean, imagine this feeling of you really want to do the thing and there's just something that's stopping you from doing it. Um, if you struggle with procrastination um, or and or have ADHD, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, that I'm pretty sure was the day I decided, you know, enough, enough is enough. This has been going on for decades. I got to really do something about this. So I Googled, as most people do. <laughs> You know, um, Dr. Google help me. Um, and I found a procrastination coach and I thought, ah, oh, a procrastination coach. This is it. This is going to be the thing that fixes me. So I, uh, I scheduled a call with her and I, you know, talked to her and we decided we were going to work together and it was a lot of money. I don't remember how much, but I remember thinking, okay, this is a lot of money. Um, and to be honest, I don't remember what we even really talked about in our sessions um, because nothing worked. She didn't help me at all. Um, I would go to the meetings and we would talk and do whatever it was we were ostensibly doing, but I saw no results. My procrastination continued with a vengeance. You know, I couldn't just do the thing until it was either the last minute or somebody was there, you know, pressuring me to do it or I was exhausted. If I was exhausted, I could do it. Yeah, my brain was able to, to finally do it when it was exhausted. Um, so waste of money, waste of time. <laughs> so the question is then, what should I have done? Well, at the time, I had no idea I had ADHD. I was actually diagnosed later that year. Um, Self-diagnosed, basically. <laughs> First, my friends did it, then I diagnose myself. Um, and so, uh, by reading a book about it and then got the official diagnosis from a doctor. So I, I hadn't been diagnosed with ADHD at the time. Um, had I been diagnosed with ADHD at the time, what I would have, could have, should have done is simply address my ADHD. And here's something that I think is really important to mention. Um, a lot of times we see these, you know, hacks, tips, tricks, strategies for how to deal with our procrastination. Um, I even have videos about them, videos about how to, you know, get started when you just don't want to do the thing and they work, but there's a caveat. Um, if your ADHD is not treated, the underlying, you know, problem really is your ADHD. So step one is really treating your ADHD and taking the steps to reduce your symptoms, to reduce its effect on you. Because that is really, in most cases, the main thing that's causing your procrastination if you are a procrastinator with ADHD. There are other things, sure, 
Sometimes it's emotional. Sometimes you don't want to do the thing. Sometimes you don't know how to do the thing. Um, sometimes you just haven't set aside enough time to do the thing. But nine times out of 10, it's really your ADHD that's effing it up, okay? <laughs> um, so instead of just jumping straight to the hack, we need to fix the underlying problem. Here's a metaphor that might help explain my <laughs> uh, point here. Um, if you are a person with ADHD and you are struggling with procrastination and you just do a hack, right? Um, that's, a, that's like a band-aid. That's like mm, putting a, a new coat of paint on the car and that doesn't have a working motor. The car is going to look nicer, but it's still not going to go anywhere. <laughs> so if we're doing the hacks, yeah, that might help a little bit here and there, but we need to really fix the underlying problem. And the underlying problem most of the time is untreated ADHD. So how do we treat it? There are two routes. One is the medication route. Um, and then there's the other route, which is what I do. I am a certified, and I always mess this up, <laughs> even though it's what I do, a certified functional therapeutic diets specialist and ADHD coach. And so I tend towards the natural route um, to help my clients. So what that is, is we're going to go on a therapeutic diet, which is statistically shown to improve ADHD greatly. And we're going to add into that holistic health. Um, holistic health is not supplements. Stop wasting your money on the supplements, guys. It, it doesn't work. Come on now. <laughs> um, it's, you know, working on all those parts of your life, your sleep, your stress levels, um, all those kinds of things, your purpose in life. That's even a part of holistic health. Um, but with the basis being a therapeutic diet to fix the mechanisms in the brain. So if you're struggling with something like procrastination, I know it's tempting to just want to do the hacks. The hacks are the last layer in the strategy. The first layer in the strategy is fixing the ADHD by implementing strategies to get your brain working more the way it should. All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about this stuff, leave me a comment and I hope that you have a happy and healthy day. Thanks for listening. Ciao.